Hi everybody, my name is Isa and this is my DIY makeup channel. Today I'm reviewing new foundation from Revlon. This is Color Stay 24 Hours Long Wear Makeup and I only saw it later uh, because I already bought it that it's for combination to oily skin. I have extremely dry skin. So if you're interested in this review in a test wear, how it looks under natural light, then please keep on watching. But before, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so I've bought this one in the shade uh, Buff. It has also vitamin E inside and SPF 15. Their claims are up to 24 hour wear, transfer resistant, matte poreless finish, absorbs oil, controls, shines all day, improve skin's quality day after day and it's oil free. So this is supposed to be like a, almost a skincare type of foundation which I'm quite surprised and I have it on right now. You can see that it's um, the shade is on point. It's totally my shade which I'm really really excited for. Now I'm going to show you how I've applied it and all of the rest that it's coming up. Uh, and now let's do this. Let's start with application. I'm going to apply the foundation with my beauty blender and I would really like to see a little bit better. So the color match it's pretty on point which I really like. So it's blending out really really nicely. Okay so that's not bad at all. It's I would say this is medium coverage so now you can see the difference you can probably um, build it up a little bit more if you want to now I'm gonna use my brush this is round Kabuki Sigma brush hmm okay so with this foundation I prefer Beauty Blender it's easier to blend in it's quicker if I'm using this brush I'm moving the product way too much around you can totally blend in this foundation with brush. You just need a lot more time to do so. Uh, and the finish for me at least, it looks way more natural using Beauty Blender. Here you can see sometimes the strokes from this brush and you really need to take your time to blend everything. Now I just want to see if I can build up to full coverage. I'm using now just Beauty Blender because I prefer it. And yeah, <laughs> wow. You can totally get a full coverage with this foundation. I'm using it as a concealer as well, just to see how much I can cover up because I don't have any pimples or stuff like that to cover up, but I do have dark under eyes. And you can see that it did a pretty nice job. So now I'm just going to need the tiniest bit of brighter concealer. But yeah, this is totally a full coverage foundation. That's flawless. I really like the finish of it as well because it's not matte. It has some radiance to it. And you know, now it's all about that very radiant, healthy looking skin. And I'm all about that because if you have dry skin, um, you want that because otherwise your skin is looking very dull. I've applied uh, my concealer and I've done my brows, but now I'm gonna see how powder is going on top of this foundation. I'm using Pat McGrath Labs uh, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. I mean, with this foundation, I don't need to powder any of this uh, sorry, foundation because I have such a dry skin. If you have um, oily skin, then by all means do so. So I'm powdering that and then I'm just going to powder a little bit around my nose just to see how it's working on top of this foundation. But otherwise, if you're not oily, you don't need to powder this one. Yeah, so as I thought, that went on smoothly. 
I can really feel how this foundation is sticking to my face so I think this one is going to be very very long lasting and now we want to see how uh, everything else is going on top of this foundation so for example something creamy and something powdery so I'm going on top with again the same blush as I've used for the previous foundation review this is a very balmy blush that it's really easy to blend in so the consistency of this blush it's way more emollient than the foundation because this foundation it's more it's more like sticking to the face if you know what i mean so it's not that dewy there's no problem using this cream on cream but it's always nice to try especially if this is a review on foundation because you never know how different formulas are going to work on top of each other um, so that's just one more thing to check out you know now we can try bronzer on top so again I'm using Pat McGrath Labs um, Divine bronzer because again this formula it's so easy to work with uh, and I don't I really want to give this foundation a good shot so I'm just going on top and I'm very like curious with this foundation how it's working if I'm not powdering it but I think that it shouldn't be a problem because it has more of a powdery finish to it okay so that worked nicely now I'm going to do the rest of my face and see you in a bit now foundation dried down a little bit more and I can really see it I mean it's the best high coverage foundation that I've tried from a drugstore um, but if you have really dry skin this is way too much for you maybe if you want to have one foundation like only for night time really full coverage then yes it's going to work uh, it looks beautiful but up and close it's way too much if you have dry dry to normal skin if you have normal to oily or even better oily skin this is going to be a true gem for you um, I mean I'm going to use this one probably a lot for YouTube videos because on screen it looks flawless like right up and close it's really makeup -y. Um but as I already said the best way to apply it is using your beauty blender in that way you will get the most natural result and also I've caked it up quite a lot just to see if I can build it up to full coverage like normally I don't need full coverage uh, medium it's quite enough for me so because of that it's more caked up as well and also I'm going to see how it's going to behave throughout the day because um, as I'm always saying in each video in each uh, review of new foundations is that um, if you have dry skin your skin can eat it up it can disappear you can be left with only like a powder on top of your skin and your skin can feel really dry and you can look really cakey so that's that I'm going to show you how it looks under natural light and then we will see each other after at least eight hours or above to see how it wore so you can see how it looks on a dry skin and it's expected to look a little bit cakey okay so it's 10 hours later it's seven o'clock at night and yeah i haven't applied anything else except of my lipstick right now just for this video so let me check my face i haven't powdered i i haven't set my face with any setting spray or powder um and yeah it's a little bit heavy this foundation around my mouth build up it looks quite 
heavy and cakey so for sure this foundation it's not for dry dry to normal normal skin it's totally for combination and oily skin. Uh, also for stage this is actually a great great foundation even if you have dry skin because you sweat a lot and oh i should mention that i was after this application i was in the gym and then um after lunch i went on a walk i was walking oh what a big spider i was walking on the sun it was quite hot so it hold up really really nicely but i cannot be mad about being too cakey for me because i have dry skin and here clearly says it's for combination and oily skin but i will test the one the same foundation for dry skin and i'm going to compare it even if you have dry skin and you don't want that very dewy finish and you need something very high coverage something that is going to do really well um for as i said on stage or for photo shoot or for some kind of video this is foundation to go for i have a true match true skin foundation from catrice that um oily skin loves and i hate it so even though that this is for oily skin, it's a great, great foundation. I don't have anything bad to say about it. Um, color, it's perfect. Um, it blended in beautifully. It holds up beautifully throughout sweat and sun. Uh, I think that this is going to actually be a great foundation to go for if I know that I'm going to be out and about now in the summertime. Uh, because I, even though that I have dry skin, I can really sweat if it's very hot outside, obviously. And uh, if I don't use it too much, like a normal amount, I think that this is going to be a perfect foundation to go for. Um, or as I said for YouTube videos, some kind of uh, you know makeup tutorials and stuff like that. So if you already tried this foundation or the one for dry skin, then please comment down below your thoughts, your experience. Yeah, have a lovely, lovely day. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next one.